Welcome back to another video lecture. Today we are gonna discuss about uh, memories. Last lecture I showed you uh, how to use memories and what they are, but uh, here we are uh, going more to in depth what is a latch and what is a flip flop. So those two are the symbol. And generally, memory uh, implies some sort of not to not uh, gay connecting in this way. So let's say that if this uh, is zero then at the output of this not gate we will have one and one propagates here so the output of this will be zero and as you see those maintain the states so the idea is to uh, overpower uh, this uh, basic logic element to just make them switch and then they will retain uh, the the value so for instance uh, this is if you ignore the um, uh, the red thing there. Uh, so this is the not to not uh, configuration uh, drawn uh, uh, showing uh, the transistors PMOS and the NMOS. Now if you consider the red one, uh, the red drawings here, uh, those are actual uh, RAM. So a RAM is a, a memory that's uh, configured in this way where you have word select and the bit line, bit line and get it and when you select it you switch the content of the um, of those not to not uh, gates uh, but this is uh, a bit uh, off topic so here uh, we have uh, a representation of uh, a set reset uh, latch uh, so compared to this previous configuration we can uh, just add those two transistor to, to implement this uh, the simple circuit so first thing, uh, you cannot at the same time set and reset a latch or you can, but you can incur in uh, metastability. So uh, this is, uh, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. So the idea uh, is that uh, if you uh, set, then you propagate it to the output and if you reset, you set the value of this uh, circuit uh, to zero, so Q to zero. Here is uh, the truth table shown. Uh, but this is not the simple, the simplest circuit because we don't have an enable, so we are basically those uh, inputs can uh, uh, go crazy. We don't have actual way to control uh, the inputs. So uh, an improvement is to uh, include an enable signal as shown here. Let's consider for now this uh, part of the circuit. Another uh, thing uh, that we want sometimes is to propagate just whatever is at the input at the output without uh, having those two signals. So we can have um, an inverter uh, and in this configuration as you can see we can never have s and r at one at the same time so those are called the latch the latches and uh, here i mean if you connect the clock it behaves exactly like a latch as we expect there are multiple ways of implementing the same thing actually like i've been confined by this whiteboard but there are so many circuits that um, that I can show. So here is just a bunch, but uh, really in the world there is like an infinite amount of this stuff. So this is a latch that uh, I mean we just constructed with the enable, and a flip flop is uh, uh, just a, a latch, uh, two latches, and uh, one uh, that works uh, with the positive edge, and the other one that works with the negative edge of the clock. So the clock gets inverted. And whether you invert it here or there, um, it depends on what, uh, uh, like if uh, your uh, register is uh, sensitive at the positive edge or negative edge of the clock. And uh, yeah, this is uh, basically this circuit right here. So what, uh, what we discussed uh, uh, in the previous lecture. You can implement the latches uh, with multiplexers. Here, uh, there is an example, and like probably this uh, circuit uh, can be implemented better with pass transistor logic. Pass transistor logic is something that I didn't uh, explain much. I just 
uh, slightly touched upon in the first lecture uh, in my rant, but uh, like memories uh, can be implemented with this past transistor logic. So, for instance, uh, this is another implementation of a DLATCH with the past transistor logic. The problem with past transistor logic is that uh, we lose part of the signal uh, going to charge this capacitor and this node. So we need some way to restore the level. So let's say that D is one and uh, we transmit D uh, with, the, with the clock. I mean, uh, this is an NMOS, so if the clock is one, it conducts. Uh, so D passes through, but uh, is not the strongest D. D decreases uh, in value. So here we have a weak one. Uh, so at the output here we have a strong zero because this is uh, an inverter and this zero uh, makes this, uh, an, uh, this PMOS transistor conduct. So we restore uh, the one uh, at this node so that D becomes strong again and uh, is able to fully drive the inverter. Uh, this is an example of a D latch and this is uh, what is past transistor logic. So the signals go through, but it gets weaker uh, as it goes. And uh, at last, here down at the bottom, an example of um, an example of uh, the flip-flop implemented with path transistor logic. So what you have to notice is that here we have a clock and the clock inverter and inverted. And here is exactly this implementation uh, that I discussed before, uh, connected uh, with this uh, type of configuration. So having said that, I hope that it clarifies uh, what are uh, flip-flops and latches. There are a lot, like a multi multitude of uh, this type of circuit. This is just, you know, uh, scratching the surface. Uh, there are glitch based, but uh, yeah, the most common that I see is the, the one the, that I show right here. If you want to see more video lectures like this, uh, please uh, uh, subscribe, uh, consider support uh, my work on Patreon. Uh, there are a lot of videos that I'm planning out. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, and if you want to interact with me or if you want me to cover some topics, send me an email. I will link uh, my email down in the description and uh, see you in the next one.